I want to say thank you very much to the organizers uh, for doing this uh, and, and making sure that Windsor and Essex County joins in the voice for freedom uh, for others. We may be cold, but we are free. And I can tell you right now, no matter what we face, is nothing for the people in Syria. But standing in solidarity is an important thing. It tells other people out there that if you're going to hurt one, you're going to hurt all, and we're not going to take it lying down. And I want to tell you right now, as the official opposition to Stephen Harper and the Conservatives, we're very disappointed in this government. We long called for the ambassador to be removed from Syria. And this, absolutely. It's totally unacceptable. It's totally unacceptable given the circumstances. And it sends the wrong message. As trade connect for the NDP, I can tell you, I was very frustrated with the Prime Minister going over to China and not raising this issue forcefully. He signed more trade agreements with China. Human rights have to be part of trade. It's really critical. And I'm going to finish on the last point. Joe Comartin couldn't be here. And uh, he gives his regrets. He's with his family. And I have to leave for my family event soon too, but I, I won't be on the march. But one last point that you may not have heard the news. The Syrian top diplomat in Canada today said that Mahar Arar was a terrorist. Shame on him. And he should be immediately censored. We have had three Canadian citizens tortured by the Syrian Assad corrupt government. We're not going to tolerate it anymore. And we'll be back in the House of Commons for it, and Mr. Harper to act for a change. When our own citizens are attacked by this corrupt government, there's an extra due diligence that's necessary. And the Prime Minister can't be hide behind a desk, can't be hide behind trade or oil money. He has to protect every single Canadian citizen. We all have the same rights under the oath of allegiance. So I say shame on you, Mr. Harper. They are our citizens. They're citizens. They are our brothers. And until there's justice for them, there's no justice for us, and we're not letting you off the hook. Thank you very much.